So welcome guys to another Wrestle Designs video. And today we're going to be jumping back on to the open air project and kind of part one of the charge cooler system. And as you can see, a box has arrived. I've got a box cutting knife. Let's unbox what's inside here. Careful now. So don't damage what's inside. So the first thing to do really feels like it's a clip on, just gonna unclip the actual charge cooler rad from the normal rad. There we go. That's a good size. I mean that's easy to get a fit. The only issues I can see actually is we're gonna have to make something up. It hasn't got any uh, natural kind of ways to to mount it, but I'm sure I'll just make a bracket. I'll make a plate, sorry, with this kind of shape, and this will slide into, and on the top, there's quite a few things. I can definitely uh, drill a hole if needs be, bolt something up, that can be done. It's also got one pipe in it already. I'm looking at these fittings here, and I think these fittings are gonna be, they look like stuff that's on the Mark IV. I've actually got some Mark IV pipes there. Let me just take one off and see if they, they're gonna fit these kind of push-on clip fittings. So I took this off an engine I had laying around, which as you can see is the Mark, it's the Mark IV type clip. I'm wondering if this is gonna fit. It does as well. Okay, cool. So I'm quite stoked about that. So what we're gonna do is now is take this one off and we'll move it over to the car and see where we can mount this up, how it's gonna look. Might give it a clean as well before I do that as well. Okay guys, so with a cable tie, with a few cable ties actually, two cable ties, and a bit of trimming with the old angle grinder, I've been able to kind of get it up quite close. So now what I'm gonna do is gonna put the bumper iron on and just dummy up the bumper. I mean, these bits, if they hang too low, I can just trim them off. I didn't want to trim them off yet because I'm not 100% sure until everything fits and I'm finalized on the location, then I'll try to trim bits off. But at the moment, I don't really want to trim off anything off uh, this radiator, the charge cooler radiator. If you can just make out, it sits uh, literally at the right height, which is the lower grill bit. So hopefully it doesn't go below it. Like I said, at the very worst, I'd probably just have to trim off. There you focus in. Those little bits there, hopefully. Okay, so here's my weapons of choice, the angle grinder, some side cutters, and take two. So I've turned it around the other way, because also I forgot this side actually comes closer to the bumper, that side's further away. So it's better for the actual the pipes to be on that side, because then it's further away. Okay, so take two, let's see if I can put this front panel on. It's raised now, so it's actually the same height, exactly the same height as the radiator, so it should fit perfect now.
there. So this is like the third go. It actually slots in there quite nicely. Level. So now let me put the cross member on. I'm sure the bumper will fit now. So I've trimmed that front panel to get some air in. Like I said, I'll probably make a scoop from that, that bit underneath so it kind of gets the air. So yep, so the bumper's gonna fit. There's no point even trying it. And I don't know if you can see in there, the connectors are just behind there, that panel. So I need to actually trim probably all the way to the end then. So I'm gonna trim this bit out so that I can get the connectors through. Okay, so this is basically what I've trimmed off. These, these bits off that cross member. I think there's maybe just one more trim needs to be done. So obviously I'll clean this up afterwards, just a rough, a rough uh, fit now. So clears there, uh, it just touches it up on there a little bit actually. So I need to just adjust that. Where the pipes go, because actually gonna sit like that at that height. Don't know if you can see in there. Let me get some light. Hold on. So hopefully you guys can see now with a bit of light. It does help, doesn't it? So yeah, it's going to sit like that. I'll be able to get a 19. Might have to trim it just a little bit here. Maybe a little bit at the top, but not much. So yep, that's going to fit perfectly. So then the pipes will just kind of come around. And the charge cooler will fit in here. This is where it's going to fit at an angle. Because obviously it doesn't need to be facing frontwards. It can literally just be facing with a boost pipe facing one way and the other boost pipe facing the other way to go up. So it looks like it's gonna be really quite good actually. Okay, let's put the bumper on to make sure, but I'm, I'm sure the bumper will fit this time, third time lucky. So yeah, as you can see, you can't see anything. So that's perfect. So like I said, I'll just angle. I've cut this bit out here, unfortunately, which kind of stopped the air. So the air's gonna kind of go around there instead. So I'll probably just replace it, put a bit of plastic in there. So it does trap all the air, so the air can't actually escape. And I'll probably put some, something on the sides here as well to do the same. And on this side as well, I'll do the same as well. Put some partitions up on that side so that all the air gets fed up in through there and it'll kind of force it up and through the rad that's in there as you can see it. Let me get some light for you guys. So there you go. Fits perfectly in there. And as you can see, what I have to do is just screw it into place, make some little L brackets or something, and do the coolant pipes. So guys, so as you saw, I mounted up the radiator for the charge cooler. Uh, this is a box I got delivered. We have a few bits that I needed, which will be the actual charge cooler itself, and some of the connectors as well. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so the first box is that pipe that I was for the intake, so I can actually finish the intake. So that's basically the turbo almost done then, apart from the downpipe. So that goes, that is actually a uh, 63 at this end, and it goes up to a 70 mil, which matches the standard VW uh, intake pipe. So what I'll do is also I'll put a pipe coming off here so the breather can return to the inlet. So it looks OEM, I'll just paint it all black. So that's cool, quite excited about that. Got that, that finished. I hate leaving things unfinished. I like to uh, start and finish sections at a time. It just makes it easier to kind of keep a track of what you're doing. This, I don't know if you can make it out in the bag. These are the little connectors that go onto uh, the charge cooler radiator. These are from a heater matrix on a 2009, 2010 Audi A3. Um, I saw these on a car that came in for a bit of work and I thought, oh, those will do. They're nice tight 90s, as well as this also has, also has the soft bleed nipple at the top. So I'm gonna use this. Uh, the charge cooler also has one as well, but I think it'd be easier to bleed the system from as many points as possible. Uh, so yeah, the radiator will have, on the highest point on the radiator, will have this bleed nipple and then on the charge cooler will be the same as well. So that's done and this is just another, just in case, I've just got another normal 90 without the little bleed you can't really see inside the packet. So to the charge cooler itself. So I've had a little look before I video this and it's actually really quite small. It's gonna be compact. It's an impressive bit of kit. If I don't say so myself, it looks, 
put this on the floor so you guys can get a on this before the missus comes and sees it. So it's proper OEM. There's the part number. If you can focus in. Yep, there you go. And it's perfect. It really, really is. I mean, it's got a, a temperature sender there. So it's got one pre or one after, whichever way you, you look at it. So what I am going to do, actually, I'm going to use one of these sensors. Hopefully they'll be compatible or pretty similar to the standard VW stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rig up the MFA has got the outside temperature. Well, I'm going to rig it up. Instead of it being outside temperature, it's actually going to be the charge cooler temperature. So I'm going to see or get a rough idea of what the temperatures will be. It'll be interesting to see how accurate, if it's in the same tolerant resistance or not. If it's not, I might have to change, uh, maybe put a resistor in line to see what the actual real temperature is. So yeah, I'm going to monitor the charge temperatures with um, with the MFA on the dash. So this is this is going to fit. This is really going to be easy to mount up. If I mean, you get a, a perspective, if it focuses it in, you really get a perspective of the size of it. It's actually not very large. It's obviously, you know, this is the same charge cooler that comes on the 208 twin turbo T6. So, you know, it's good for, and I can see the ends on it. I was originally originally quite worried about these ends, but the, you know the, these these pop off on normal charge coolers or on normal intercoolers with the plastic ends, especially when you get near the kind of two bar pressure. But this is, I mean, you're not really gonna maybe I don't know if it's gonna focus in. It really is quite heavy duty. They've really crimp crimped these on here on both sides all the way around. It really is. Yeah, it's really crimped on really, really tightly. I don't think there's gonna be any danger of these popping off at, at near the two bar pressure. That's really, really heavy duty. Also, I like it that I've got a few fixing points that I can use. There's one there, there's a couple here, uh, as well as on the top as well. So there's loads of screwing points to mount this up to make a bracket to fit where the original intercooler was. So this actually looks slightly smaller than the original intercooler so this is going to fit really really well and quite discreet and it looks like it'd be really efficient I'm going to be interesting to see I mean it's got a good flow in there really can't really tell you can't really tell from the camera but uh, yeah I mean if it works on on the original on the original equipment that by all accounts that twin turbo runs quite high temperatures as it is uh, the twin turbo ones and a lot of boost this is then going to be definitely man enough for, for what I'm doing. Okay, so this concludes part one of the charger system cool up. Obviously, as you'll see in the next video, I'm actually not in the, in Portugal anymore, I'm back in the UK. So I'm going to be able to deal with the bits that was needed for to finish off the open air project, as well as they're unfortunately, uh, quite sadly going to be a new project that I'm going to be taking on. Uh, for a very dear friend of mine uh, which I'll go into more detail in the next video so please guys subscribe be safe and see you guys soon in the next video